How's your burrito? Mm -hmm. Outstanding. Outstanding. <laughs> Welcome to Cozumel, everyone. We are down here to go on our first dive trip in about two years. It's definitely been a hot minute. It has been a hot minute since we've been diving. Um, and it's been three years since we've been to Cozumel. We got pretty excited to plan this trip, come down and do about a week's worth of diving. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a hot one today. So uh, let's go diving. Let's go diving. How did we end up here? Well, we aren't usually people who travel on a whim, but we both needed a vacation and Mexico was calling our names. Cozumel is an easy flight away and we love the food, the people, the island vibe, and of course, the diving. Cozumel has long been one of our favorite places to dive. You can't beat the clear water, swift current, and abundant sea life. We started our diving journey at this exact location in Cozumel more than 10 years ago, and crossing this bridge still gets us excited. Even when we dive in other places, we find ourselves coming back again and again. We are always excited about the marine life here, but this was our first time seeing a short-nosed batfish, which is a pretty unique underwater animal. We also saw a lot of seahorses on this trip, which always feels like a treat. Palancar Reef is made up of multiple dive sites, including gardens, bricks, and caves, and is our favorite Cozumel diving spot. Each site has something slightly different to offer, but our favorite part is the large swim-throughs amongst the giant coral formations. Swim-throughs and caves make it feel like you're exploring an underwater slot canyon. Whether we are looking at the impressive coral formations or inspecting the walls for macro life, Nowhere else that we've been has had swim-throughs quite like Palancar. I'm putting together our fluoro dive kit on the GoPro. It'll be interesting how it works. The lights that I have will shine a bright blue light and the yellow barrier filter removes all the different color except for what fluoresces underwater. Night diving is a great opportunity to see the reef in a completely different way. Different animals, different lighting, or lack thereof, and always the chance to see an octopus or two.
This was our first time trying out the fluorescent light setup, and it was completely amazing to see the corals shining bright underwater at night, as well as the different ways the animals can look. Night diving really is a whole different experience, but we enjoy it. When you live in a landlocked state, getting back to the water is therapeutic. Diving here just feels like home. Taking time to completely unplug and unwind gives us both a sense of peace and renewal that we just can't seem to find on land. Slowing down to appreciate everything that the underwater world has to offer is exactly what we needed on this trip. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Your support means the world to us. Stay tuned for our next adventure.